if I talk to a black person that makes under a million dollars a year, they really are, they really relate to the George Floyd comments and feel hurt that I would even uh, bring it up and question the approach. They have multiple documentaries on the death of JFK, but we're just supposed to believe this one media outlet version that preyed on our trauma and our pain. And then if I talk to rich black people uh, or white people, Jew or Catholic or atheist, they're really into the Jewish media com uh, comment because it affects their business interests. Okay, well, look, and it let was me, really right, interesting. Right, let, me, as right, we, let, yeah. let me just pick you up yeah. on, on the two things you've mentioned. The first right. one is what you said about George Floyd. And the, the reality of that, it's not a media interpretation of how he died because the Hennepin County Chief Medical Examiner concluded that Floyd died from cardiopulmonary arrest. His heart stopped complicated by the way the police restrained him and compressed his neck. Now, he also said there were other contributing conditions. Wait, wait, wait. Well, hang on, let me finish. There were other contributing okay. conditions, yeah. narrowed arteries, high blood pressure and fentanyl intoxication. But although these were significant conditions, he said, uh, and things that played a role in the death, they didn't directly cause the death. The cause of death was what that policeman what, what, did with his knee to George Floyd. What makes you believe that Floyd. person? Well, why would a coroner lie? What makes you believe that? Why would a coroner lie? Because he could get paid to lie. Yeah, but, because he could get paid to lie. Because but yeah, he's I watched it. I watched it for the eight minutes. The majority of the press. Right, but I watched it for eight minutes. Now tell me this: Have you seen the the Candace Owens BLM documentary? I have watched uh, some of that documentary. But here's what I would say to you: When you watch that video of George I, Floyd, be, no, it's not a but. It's not. It's not. Well, it's I haven't not, watched it's the not whole thing. I need you thing. to watch. I, I know. I, okay. I, I, I know so what you said I want about. You to, I, I know I'm Candace. Gonna, wait, I'm going to finish. La la. It's all right. You don't okay, have you to know do that. That means, that means, I know what it means. That, that you, la 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 means be quiet and let me finish. Oh, but you sir. did interrupt my uh, question. So, <laughs> with the BLM, no, I wasn't. I wasn't finished. You're pressing agenda. You haven't seen the whole thing. I don't so have an agenda. I, I just read you what the coroner said. So we can have twenty different perspectives on how JFK died, hmm. but us as black people. Not only are, can we only vote one way, we're not allowed to have any other perspectives and that the area for George Floyd, where he passed, the murder rate is up 50 percent and nothing. This is so-called movement, but it didn't move blacks anywhere. Right. Now, listen, so I, me I, as a I, I, black okay, yeah. person, I will say mm. there are legitimate questions yeah. about mm. the Black Lives Matter movement. No question. Um, but on the specific point about how George Floyd died, I don't think it's in question about what actually killed him. It was that police officer what with his mean? knee it, on his well, neck. It, well, it is in question. It is in, it is in question. I'm questioning. Well, you can as question it, but, person but what you're questioning is friends, a coroner report. As a, hey, are, do, you, do you have friends that were killed by police officers? Do you have friends that were locked up? Do you have friends, do you have uh, people aborting half your race? No. So I am the black person with the black experience that's worth $11 billion and is the most influential person on the planet. And I am questioning it. OK, you and are I have a right to question you, it. Absolutely. You can't tell me you can't tell me you can't tell me with your accent that me as an American Jew black person that I cannot question that deaf and questioned the means behind I'm that not, I'm was not, put on camera I'm, I'm not saying you to can't traumatize. I'm not fin. La 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 means let me finish. Okay. I'm not finished talking. So we can't. I cannot. I uh, see because you distract my thoughts and then you try to make me look like a crazy person and you feel you have the right to cut me off. And I've proven you. You guys don't want it with me. This is like Terminator 20. You've never seen this before. You've never seen this before, so I want no one to play with me. Mm -hmm. I have the right to question because that videotape was used to traumatize my people and force us into the Democratic vote. Hey, George Soros, you're a real competitor. I respect you. I'm worth more money than you, and I have more influence than you, and have, you know, Pierce Morgan from a different country saying, well, 
the uh, I'm not going to do an English accent because that would be racist. Uh, I'm funny, by the way. Uh, <laughs> Fine. The... I know you, can, you can do that. As I said to you, the show is uncensored yet. You can say what the hell you like, right? But that doesn't mean I can't pick you up on a few things, right? You accept that. I accept that, but you try to say it is unquestionable because this one Dr. Fauci said this. I know it wasn't Dr. Fauci, but I'm mm. just giving an example where we hear from even Google. Like people feel like, you know, if you Google it, it's factual. There's so much non-factual information about me on Google, but then I still believe Google. And people pay to get certain information to the top of Google. But this is good. This is keep going. Where, okay. where else you want to go with it? Here's, you what, guys I want to, are fun. here's what I want to go. The civil rights lawyer Lee Merritt <laughs> responded to what you said about George Floyd's death and said, while one cannot defame the dead, the family of George Floyd is considering suit, which they're now doing, as you know, they're suing you for $250 million for Ye's full statements about the manner of his death, claiming Floyd died from fentanyl, not the brutality established criminally and civilly, undermines and diminishes the Floyd family's fight. So what is your response to that? Well, anybody who loses a loved one, my heart goes out to them. Any race, my heart goes out to the pain of that. I have a theory about it. Now, this is not a fact. This is a feeling that I have. In the documentary, George Floyd's two roommates said that George kept saying they want a tall guy like me. They want a tall guy like me. So for me, I'm a creative, right? I can like make a dinosaur out of a femur, right? So if I'm making a dinosaur out of a femur and I'm looking at a documentary that says George Floyd was telling his two roommates they want a tall guy like me. And on the day of his death, he prayed for eight minutes. They said he prayed longer than he ever prayed. What do you think, me as a creative mind, the beautiful mind, right, the sensitive mind, what do you think I feel could have happened in that situation? All right, well, honestly, if I'm being honest with you, I would say that because of your brilliant, beautiful, creative mind, as you put it, and I don't dispute that at all, you've got an extraordinary mind. Uh, and I can see that in the way that you conduct interviews. You, you go off on very long tangents, but they're sort of fascinating. I, I find it fascinating to listen to you. I'm not saying you don't have a right sort to question. Sort of, quite. Yeah. These are like Capote no, level not. fascinating no, not. tangents. No, they're not. They're not. I, I'm just saying it's, it's the way you, you conduct yourself, and I think that's very interesting. What, what do you mean? Is it, oh, we're not? Why? Why is it, oh, it's not Capote level? Uh, oh, actually, I, I can't think you Capote level. If you would, sort of, if you would like me to compare you to Truman Capote, huh? I am fat. I am happy to do that. Yay! If you want to be known as the new Capote, okay. I'm with you. Okay, uh, I'm not going to question your talent. Your talent to me is completely unquestionable. Right? When you question a that, answer so the here's question my point. about the femur to the dinosaur. No, no, I'm going to ask you a different question. Situation. I'm just going to ask if, you this. What, what? No, what? you're not. You're gonna. You're gonna. No, you, I, I didn't. I didn't finish my question. Well, hang on. You can't you tell me. You answer my question. You can't first. tell me what questions to ask you. You accept Should, that you're I'm the interviewer. To answer my question. No, I said answer my question. No, I'm interviewing you too. Well, you you can't interview me. It's my interview. <laughs> You're Bono. I'm interviewing you too. See, that's the way we rap. You <laughs> let me just. You know let, no, no. Let me so, just. Put, let me just put this to you. So no, 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 no. Let you're me, trying no, to hang avoid. On, hang on. You, you're trying to avoid. You no, 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 no. La 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 la. To put quite a phrase. I'm gonna. You're I'm interrupting gonna get me back now. To it. I'm I mean, going to get back to it. All right, you can. But let because me ask you. Because you haven't answered my question. Here's my question for you, which you haven't answered. No, I'm not answer. What? Don't and don't answer my don't ask, answer my question with yeah, a question. Yeah. I'm not answering anything. I'm going back to my original question in a way, which is simply this. I'm not saying you don't have a right to question how George Floyd died, but given the world watched that horrifying video of that policeman's knee on his neck, and given that is what the coroner said caused his death, albeit he had other underlying conditions, including fentanyl intoxication, when the family see someone like you, who's hugely influential, you're known around the world, questioning how their loved one died, 
they find that very hurtful, which is why they're now suing you for it. And my question for you is, do you understand the pain that sometimes your comments can cause, like this, this circumstance with George Floyd's family? Now, I'm going to ask you a question again. With my imagination, if you see, when you see in the documentary that George Floyd's two roommates said, he said, they want a tall guy like me, they want a tall guy like me, and that he prayed extra long on the day of his passing, where do you think that takes my beautiful mind? I think it can take you to a place where you want to believe something which may not be true. I'm, I'm not saying it's not. I'm just saying all the evidence you points. You, you, well, I'm, you, well, I'm you giving you an honest answer. answer. My you honest answer, answer is I think that they... One of that the wasn't honest. That was a... That was a political collect. That was no, a, my honest belief. My honest belief uh, is. Hey, that, what do you guys do? What do you, I mean? People in the newsroom. What are they doing? They're like cringing right now. They're like, whoa. No, we never experienced not, this before. I'm, no, we I, never experienced. I'm not cringing. A black entertainer <laughs> that won't be threatened by the media to back down from his opinion. Yeah, I think you mistake you know, me. Like, you Martin, mistake me for somebody who's going to be like the yeah. others. I have a show called Uncensored for a reason. I'm giving you a platform for a reason. You but are you're perfectly... pressing an agenda. No, no, I'm not. You're perfectly entitled you're to your opinions. You're pressing your agenda. But do you, do you accept you're you lying may... now. Do you accept you may not always be right? I just, I, I just called you. I just called you a liar. How does that make you? That's fine if you think I'm a liar. It's fine. <laughs> no, you're a liar. You're pressing the agenda of the pain and trauma and trauma economy that is pressed on my people by the left.